We have to ask ourselves, how come Jews, three years after the Holocaust, could have been so callous, so determined in committing a crime of such a magnitude? So I think the first lesson we learn by looking at the connection between Zionist ideology, the people who decided about the ethnic cleansing and the operation on the ground, the first lesson I learned at least from the history which is relevant uh, to today is that we should focus our campaign on names and people and not be satisfied with vague concepts. We are not fighting something which we cannot see. Of course we are. I am an anti-Zionist. So we can say we are fighting Zionism, we are fighting Israel, maybe we are fighting a certain group of Jews, and so on. But we should be much more specific of what we are doing. We are fighting people who are criminals. And we know their crimes. And we are going to be professionals about it, not just emotional about it. There was one moment of grace in Britain, which I think showed us the way, when General Almog, uh, who was the chief commander in the Gaza Strip and came to a shopping uh, journey to Oxford Street in London, had to stay with the cleaners on the El Al aeroplane because a professional group of activists told uh, the British authorities that they would ask for his arrest for war crimes and he didn't want to risk it. So we should learn the nature of the crimes today as we know the nature of the crimes of yesterday, yesteryears. We should know the names of the people involved in it because we have very little chance of moving forward if we will adopt a very vague language about who is doing what to whom. We should know the name of the victims. We should know the name of the location where the crimes are being committed. We should appear, I think, to be very serious about it and to tell people that, like the Spanish judge who haunts, pin, haunted, now he's dead, haunted Pinochet on every corner in Europe and try to bring him to justice, we will haunt the people the moment we would know who they are. We want the names of the pilots. We want the names of the pilots who drop bombs on the uh, Palestinians in Gaza Strip. We are not fighting the Israeli Air Force. We want the name of the pilots. We want the name of the, and nobody here knows, I can assure you, nobody here knows the names of the Israeli commander of the Air Force. But he is an arch criminal. And you don't know his name. You should know his name as much as you should know the names of his victims if you want to succeed politically. It's not enough to talk about Israel is committing crimes. It's like talking about America committing crime. It never moved anything, these vague languages. I think we should, we should know that. It's easier to do it as an historian for 1948, I admit. But I think there is a model here that we should adopt for activity and action in the uh, uh, present and in the near future.